Hello YouTubers, ladies and gents, my name is Dane. I am with Iron Reel Productions. I wanted to take a quick moment here to talk about the Mavic 2 Pro and a little issue that happens with banding or distortion when you're filming in the field of view mode, which films at about 28 millimeter focal length. If you're filming in the high quality mode, which is 40 millimeter focal length, you're not gonna have this banding problem. Uh, but for the majority of people that are probably filming in the FOV mode, uh, you will have this, and I wanted to just take a moment in Adobe Premiere to show you how quick of a fix this is, and at the same time, show you how to create a preset as well. So, I have my footage loaded into my timeline here. I have nothing added as an effect. I am going to come over here to the Effects tab, and let me just collapse all of this. So, under Effects, just type in Distortion. When you do that, you can scroll all the way to the bottom. And under video effects, distort, lens distortion, that is what we're looking for. Let's double click that. It's gonna bring it right up here into our effect controls where nothing has been done as of right now. You can see toggle is on off, nothing has happened. What we wanna do is expand curvature. You don't have to expand it. You can just type in your value right under the blue zero. Or you can drag, which you'll see the extreme here. <laughs> what happens when you mess with the distort. So we have this reset, it's at zero. What I find to be the best result is minus 10. Type in minus 10, hit enter. You can see that banding is now gone across the very top. If I go to a little bit further back in my footage, on a scene where you would not have noticed it as much, I'm gonna turn this lens distortion off and you can see that it still is distorted when it's off, but it wasn't as noticeable. On that other scene, it was very noticeable. So just something to take note, you should probably be applying this distortion fix on all of your footage filmed in field of view mode. Whether it's a landscape or a building, you might not notice it with the untrained eye right away, but it's happening, and it's happening on all of that FOV footage. So come in, apply this, to all that footage, let me put this back on so you can just see that is the fix that it's applying. And this is on some footage where you don't notice it that badly, but it is fixing it. And at the same time, just so you know, it is bringing in the footage just ever so slightly, the scaling. So you're probably going for more of a 28 millimeter focal length to a 29, maybe a 30. So if you look at something in my footage right here, let's use this water in the bottom right hand corner if I remove the effect, you can see it actually pulls away a little bit. So there's that field of view. So unfortunately, it is cropping in just slightly, but we're getting rid of that distortion. And that's as simple as it is. If you wanna save this so that you don't have to do that every single time where you're changing the value, you can go up here, you can right click lens distortion after you've applied it. Make sure that it is toggled on because a preset will remember everything that you have clicked on it. We're gonna right click, we're gonna click Save Preset. We will name this Mavic 2 Distortion and click OK. I have already done this, so I'm gonna hit Cancel. I'm also gonna remove the lens distortion and I'm just gonna show you if we come back over here to the Effects tab and we remove distortion from up here, we drop down the presets. Here is my Mavic 2 Distortion preset saved. You can't double click it, you need to drag it and drop it. So you can either drag it, drop it right into your effect controls, or you could drag it right onto your timeline, onto the actual footage, and it's gonna apply that right away. So I hope that was useful for you, and I hope it was fast enough, not too long of an explanation, but that will fix the distortion slash banding that's happening on the Mavic 2 when filming in the field of view mode on the pro version. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed please hit the subscribe button.